Great Canic Cheese. Way better the second lap in terms of slipperiness. Yeah. yeah, the course is good, it's nice. They've cut a few new lines and there's the rock garden still in there, so it should be a good course and it's a bit slippy, so yeah, I'm excited to race. I feel like the UK national champs are growing massively. They Every year they're getting bigger and it's so amazing to see so many younger riders and I think that's the really amazing thing with the, the British national champs is the number of young riders that are there. The amazing riders they got coming up and then their brothers and sisters. There's a huge amount of talent and then they bring along their friends and families and the atmosphere is great. So it was really cool and also especially with Canuck being so close to me, having all my um, my friends and family there as well, it, it was really nice. So I would say I love home and so many people go to random places to go train, they go seek sun and other places, but for me, I don't need a training camp. I train so well at home, I work hard and for me, home is the best place. I'm with all my family and I feel like I have these goals, but I also have a life to live in between the goals and that is being with my family, I think, and if I go and go to the top of a mountain for six weeks. I don't think I'm actually living, I'm just training and just repeating the same thing, but when I'm at home, I can do all my training to the best of my ability. How's it going? So I'm now back on my bike um, after having nearly four months away from the cycling world. and. Uh, it feels like it's progressed a lot. I'm really happy with how it's gone and the surgeon's just given me the orchid to go back cycling. So my first ride back um, after, I think it was nearly two or three months off the bike, I actually cried. Um, I think I was just a bit overwhelmed by being back on the bike and how much it had taken to get onto the bike. And also it just made me a bit sad for how much I had missed it. and. Coming from other sports and coming into cycling late, I didn't think I'd fall in love with cycling as much as I, as I have and it just made me realise how it's such a big part of my life and I was actually really sad to not be on my bike for that long. Evie wasn't always into cycling but she has always been obsessed with sport. When I come round to Evie's house, she, she gives me a banana hot chocolate. <laughs> I always think it's so inspiring going back. It's the UK Nationals, it's so great to see all the other riders and for me, when I was younger, seeing those older GB racers coming back to a UK race, I always think it's really important to go back and to race on home soil so that you give that bit of inspiration to the younger riders. It should be a good race and it's always nice to have some good competition from the UK. So I had to come back through and pretend to wave again because I missed I missed the finish. So we will learn next time to maybe put some numbers on my bike. Because it's a little fun. <laughs> 
that last one. It was quite different to a World Cup, but no, I'm super happy that I managed to defend my title. That we've lost Alvo, now we're on Dad Mechanic. You lost yours as well. I've nearly done it. Oh, no. Evie Mechanicing shouldn't be filmed.